With the recent release of the Ubiquity doorbells, they are all PoE versions, which for those of you like me have a mechanical chime, you're a little bit stuck in terms of only using the unified chime. Now the unified chime has its uses, but it's not the loudest doorbell in the world. So the mechanical chime is something that I wanted to get working. I came across this article on Reddit, which basically shows you how to use your mechanical doorbell. So I wanted to create a video and share it with you all. So a big shout out to these guys on Reddit. I'll leave a link down to the description below. So go ahead, give them some kudos or vote up the article, whatever you need to do within Reddit, just give them the credit that they deserve. So all you need is your original mechanical chime, a Shelly one gen three or gen four, both of them work on this and maybe 10, 15 minutes of your time. The first thing I will tell you is I'm not a qualified electrician. So please do not follow my cabling standard. And also if you are not comfortable working with high voltage or low voltage, please do reach out to the relevant trades to help you out with this. So getting this cabled up, we're going to need a few different things. So right here, you'll see we have a transformer. Ignore the rest of the mess of everything else that's going on. And if you're not sure what you're doing, make sure you get a fully qualified electrician. First thing, obviously make sure the cable is not live. So make sure you've tested that. So we have two wires. You'll see that's running all the way up there outside to the doorbell itself and we'll show you how to connect that side up in a minute and we have some cable this side so this is just doorbell cable it's very thin it's nothing major and then we have this little device this is the Shelly 1 gen 4 which we're going to get connected up so we have the live the neutral and then we have the in and out and these are a dry contact relay the reason we're using a transformer is because the doorbell still requires some sort of power so let's show you how to get that all connected up so this is the single source of power at the moment so the first thing we're going to do is get this one plugged in is we're going to get the live one and then we have the neutral which is going to be this right here so into here we have one spare neutral cable and in here we have one live cable and we're going to make these cables just a little bit shorter because we don't need them to be that long so there we go we have the live and the neutral and we're going to pop these into the shelly so we make sure live goes into live so we'll pop that one in and make sure you screw this up so it's nice and tight and then we have this one right here which again we're going to go into the neutral and then yep you've guessed it we're going to go live tighten that one up just like so and then we're going to go neutral in here and we're going to tighten that one up and then the final one to connect to here is we're going to have the neutral going into here and then we're going to have the live connecting up this side make sure all the cables are tight try and obviously keep them as tidy as possible this is just to give you a wiring example at this point i will tidy these up after and then the second part is getting it all connected to the chime so we have three cables that we're going to be using so we'll start with one and two these are both going to the chime at this point so we're going to put one in here so the one cable goes into here and again that's going straight to the chime so that's going there and then this side Side. we're going to make this a little bit shorter that is going to go into one side input or output it's entirely up to you we'll go into the input so this side is just doing the dry contact relay so we, it'll be just touching the two cables together so they ding okay so that's one side so you can see we have one going into the shelly one going into the transformer and both of those are going back to the doorbell then we take a third cable we're going to plug this one into here let's tighten this up so into the transformer the other side guessed it the other side goes into here now this is obviously a lot harder to do while i'm recording at this point so i'm just doing this as a quick demo and i'll come back and tidy up the cables so we've now completed the loop now let's have a quick look on the doorbell side and if i show you the two cables coming in so again it doesn't really matter which way these go we can just hook these around. And we can hook this one around. <clears throat> so that's all completed. So the circuit is all complete. The doorbell is connected up. So let's get this fuse box powered back on. And you can see we have some life back in here as well. And we should now see some power in here. Yeah, there it goes. So we've definitely got something going on there. So we have the Shelly and you can see it's automatically appeared right here. We'll click add device, it says add the device to the IoT network. So that's gonna go off and do that now. So we're gonna give this a name. We're gonna call it doorbell. Give that next. We're gonna put it in the fuse box. And then there we go. Just give it a few moments, it's pending connection. And then once it gets connected, we will be able to turn it on and off. So if I show you, if I show you as an example right here, you can see we have the doorbell. There you go. And I'll show you how the magic happens in just a second. 
Just in case you weren't able to follow along, I did a quick wiring diagram which shows you where the live and the neutrals are coming in and how we create the loop through the doorbells. So feel free to pause this video at this point and have a little look at the diagram and see if you can make sense as to what has been done. Once you've got it all set up and cabled up and then connected to the app, there's simply just two or three simple steps and it's really that easy. We just need to find the right Shelly device that you're using and what I tend to do is just filter by the IoT network and then look at the latest in terms of uptime and then find the latest Shelly one, which I know is this one. Now, the easiest way to find out if this is the right device is just to copy and paste the IP into a web browser. And if it loads, we know that that is the correct Shelly device. So we can see this right here. The first thing you wanna be able to do is set a static IP address. You can either do that within the Shelly app. You can do that within the web browser right here. So you can do that by going to settings, Wi-Fi, and then click static IP. Just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go and just tick fixed IP address and it will give that IP address every time that connects to your network. And the best thing to do is to use an address that is not in your DHCP range. But this is just for this demo testing purposes. But do make sure you give it a fixed IP. Otherwise, it may change over time and then the script will basically break. Once we've done that, we're going to create a script within the Shelly device. And you go here and click create script. And I'm going to paste this script down in the description below. But basically what this does is it triggers it at any point. So the relays that are within the device, it just touches them to, for an amount of time that you've specified. And that is 0.2 at the moment. And if you want, you can change to 0 0.3, 0 0.4. You change it to however long you feel that's correct for you. Once you've done that, give it a name. We're going to call this one doorbell press. And then we're going to click save. That's it. Now, if you press start here, it's going to trigger the script. Now, I can hear it from here, but you won't be able to. So there's no point me demoing it just here. There is one other way that we can trigger this at any point, And that's by using this address just here again i'll pop this down in the description it's the ip address of the shelly device then rpc and start script id equals one so that will just if as soon as i hit enter that will trigger the device and away it will go so just keep that one in mind as we will need this one and we'll test this when we go downstairs so if we look right here i have the web link on there and then if, and then if i just press go you can see that literally triggers straight away Next, I would suggest we go to protect, then alarm manager, and we're gonna create an alarm. Now within here, we want an activity of a ring, and then we're gonna select the specific doorbell. So G6 entry, front door, or doorbell light is what I have in here at the moment, but I have the currently have the G6 entry set up. We're then gonna use a web hook, and we want a custom web hook, and then we're just gonna paste that address in there. And what that will do, as soon as that button is pressed, the doorbell will trigger. You can click test alarm. If you wanna test it now, again, there's no point, because you won't be able to hear. And we'll just give this a name of doorbell press, and you can just click create, and that's the there. And it's really that easy. Those are the few simple steps. Get it wired up, give it an IP address, put in a script and create an alarm. That is all you need to do. We're here now at the front doorbell and hopefully you'll be able to hear this trigger straight away. And again, I'll pop the mic over the other side just so you can see. So you can see just like that, it works instantly as soon as you press the button. This is really easy and simple to get set up. So hopefully this doesn't deter you away from buying that PoE doorbell. And if you want, all the links to the products that I've used are down in the description. So go ahead and check them out. There are Ubiquiti and Amazon affiliates in there. So feel free to use them if you are buying any of the stuff. If you know there's a different way to set this up or something else which is useful, yes, you can do it through Home Assistant, but this is direct with no Home Assistant with it. If you have something else that you wanna trigger or something else that you have an idea of, let me know down in the comments and I'll see if I can put a video together on it. For now, this is Inside Wire and I'll see you in the next one.